Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a Q&A because I asked you guys to ask me questions and I received tons of them. I have lots of screenshots that I made of your questions. So I'm gonna select them randomly and try and answer as many as I can. If your question wasn't answered, don't worry, it might be answered in the future. Oh, by the way, if the question is in Lithuanian, I'm gonna translate it for you guys and like ask it in English so that you understand. So, Istramis Gimo asks, why did you decide to uh, film your videos in English and not Lithuanian language? Uh, is it for the audience or there's any other reasons? My answer is yes, you're absolutely right. It is for the audience because we live in a tiny country. Lithuania has under 3 million people, right? And um, I want to reach out to as many people as I can. I want to talk to someone in US. I want to talk to someone in um, Azerbaijan. I want to talk to someone in China, in Japan, in Thailand, in any part of the world. It's just much more exciting when you get comments and you can communicate with people from like these countries that are so far away from you instead of just communicating with the same circle of people with just Lithuanians. Okay. Uh, Natalie199 asks, what languages do you speak or would you like to learn? So I speak Lithuanian and English fluently, I know a little bit of Russian and I want to speak French. Um, Hard Pliers asks, what's your favorite dessert and also what's your favorite grocery store? Okay, so my favorite dessert would be the honey cake, the particular one from Rimi shop, Medutis from Rimi is the best thing ever. It's my favorite dessert. I also love Kinder Buenos. I love Rocher chocolate. Um, I love chocolate generally and I love waffles that my mom bakes and yeah, I love anything sweet. Oh, and she also asked what's my favorite grocery store. So that would be Rimi. I feel like they're really innovative. They always come out with new stuff. They kind of follow food trends, they know what people like and you can find really nice products there that you wouldn't be able to find in other shops. So I love Remy. Uh, Midelia asks, what's the best foundation BBCC cream for oily combination skin? Now that's a good question because I have oil combination skin myself and I would say one of the best I've tried is a Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I would definitely recommend that one. Or if you want something a little bit pricier, try Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. 4321 Tanya asks, if you could live anywhere but not in Paris, where would you like to live and why? I didn't even need to think about this one because I know right away that Florence is where I would love to live. I've been twice to Florence and I've left my heart there. Like, I feel like this city is so beautiful. It's very cozy, very romantic. The atmosphere, it's just gorgeous. It's so like, it's like it's full of art full of beauty it's a mesmerizing city I feel like it's quite calm in comparison to Paris and uh, it's just everything about Florence fascinates me and it's just it's so cozy there that I would love to live in Florence so if not my Parisian boyfriend I would probably live in Florence now because I adore it okay Rosina and daughters asks what would be your dream job oh this is a hard one because I would love to do so many things. I don't even know if I have one dream job. I think my dream job wouldn't be particularly one profession, but to just do something that I love doing, to turn my hobby into a job. Auxem Mikutita asks, Hi Eva, how old were you when you first dyed your hair blonde? How did your friends and family react? I'm pretty sure I was 16 when I first dyed my hair blonde. And how did my friends and family react? My mom was actually the one dyeing my hair blonde because I decided I want to do it. My mom was just laughing hysterically and kept telling me, I told you so, as I was sat on the bathroom floor crying like a baby, telling my mom I'm not going to school tomorrow because my hair turned from brown to ginger. And it was the most horrific experience ever and my mom was just having fun of the whole situation. And I don't think I have pictures of that because it was too traumatic for me <laughs> to take pictures, but I'll look for them, I'll look for them. Maybe I'll find something. Monica Radovichuta asks, are you going to do a meetup in Lithuania one day? 
So I've already done a meetup in Vilnius, but it wasn't very well thought out. I met a group of girls and uh, we moved from the meeting spot to a restaurant. And then the girls that turned up later, they couldn't find us, so they had to leave. And that was really sad for me to when I learned about it. But I'm definitely planning to do more meetups in the future. I have one planned in my hometown, but I'm just waiting for the weather to get warmer. Definitely want to do it in Klepele. And um, yeah, I will probably do another one in Vilnius, maybe someday in Konas as well. We'll see. Eva Eva 011225 asks, what's your favorite makeup item? That is definitely a lipstick. I wanted to say a lip balm, but is lip balm really makeup? I feel like it's more um, of a skincare item. So I would say lipstick. I'm obsessed with lipsticks. Greta Shukita asks, have you got any hobbies apart from YouTube? Of course I do, like all the normal people. I love reading, I love cooking and baking, just experimenting in the kitchen. I love watching movies. I love drawing sometimes and doing some creative writing, but it's just, I don't do it very often these days, but it's one of my hobbies for sure. I love playing with my cat Louis. Actually, I love to organize my room. I don't know if you would call that a hobby or a sickness <laughs> because I just love spending time in my room and organizing everything. I find it relaxing. I just put some music on and I just shuffle in my room. Data Tad asks, Eve, I think you have perfect teeth, perfect smile, and please tell us how you care for your teeth. Some are using paste and did you try teeth whitening? Thank you so much. Um, no, I have never tried teeth whitening. Are my teeth really that white? I don't think so. I always thought my teeth aren't white enough. I would love to have glowing white teeth, but unfortunately I don't because I drink lots of tea, lots of coffee, and I don't really take that good of a care of my teeth as you might think. I just brush it every day and that's it. Um, I don't even floss. I know you're gonna judge me for that so badly, but I don't, I don't even use these little tiny brushes to get in between my teeth. Although my dentist was mad at me and uh, gave me the brush, but I still, I don't know, I get so lazy at night. I just want to brush my teeth and go to bed. I don't even use mouthwash. So that's that. But I did have braces for two and a half years. So that explains why my teeth are quite straight. Um, and I do have fillings, like aesthetic fillings. Uh, on these three front teeth. So basically what I do, I had really horrible ridges on my teeth, so they shaved like half of the tooth, and then uh, they put a filling. So this top layer is not my actual teeth, so just these three, and they match these three to the color of the rest of my teeth. Um, so I cannot really whiten my teeth because the top layer of these three is not like my natural tooth. And I have to choose the Last question because I have to run out the door. My mom and I are leaving the house. So uh, a lot of you guys ask me what's my job, like that was the main question. And I said I don't want to talk about my job on my YouTube channel. But because you guys keep asking me that, I'm gonna answer. So now that I'm done with uni, I'm a full-time YouTuber. I became a YouTube partner last year. And uh, I've been focusing on my channel, I'm trying to improve it, the editing, I need to get a new camera and I'm just focusing on expanding my channel and YouTube takes a lot of work, like I dedicate most of my time for my channel, you may not think so, but uh, the behind the scenes, the, the time that it takes is a lot of time, let me tell you. And yeah, YouTube is my main job, I have two other like little side jobs that I don't need to address because that's my business. So I'm just gonna say that YouTube is my job and I get new possibilities and opportunities every single day. So who knows what future might hold. Um, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with my current job. I have tons of plans and ideas that I might realize someday. And that's gonna be it for my Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon, bye.